Welcome to No Man's Sky Expeditions Mode and we are playing the second expedition which was released in May 2021 if you're watching this in the future and we are about two hours of gameplay in to what is actually a two week mission and just to give you a bit of an update we've completed the phase one which went quite well and we are I was trying in the last video I was trying to work on phase two but what actually happened was is we seem to have got moved forward into phase three and we just got to find the rendezvous point and a toxic planet finish this we've got a couple of the words done on this one and then what we got is the mystery encoded one here i've got a feeling what we're gonna have to do is get to rendezvous point five to actually unlock these strange missions although this says that uh, it says unable to decode task although that's kind of mentioning polo I'm not exactly sure, but what I want to do in this video is I'm going to try and find the toxic planet. And what I would like to do is find a crash ship and kind of complete these two missions out. And what we're going to do is we're going to start in this system. And the also I've got a secondary objective that what I want to do is oh these fireworks come from the fact that I've I cashed in the phase one mission rewards. But what I would like to do is just get rid of these, put move these down here, because uh, not that um, E. What I would like to do is get some chromatic metal to make the antimatter and to, to install the hyperdrive in here, because we've got a hyperdrive recharge. Also, would like to get this system relauncher in. So we're also going to be looking for some copper. And this is the system that we were in in the last part. And the one I'm going to head for first is this toxic planet here. So if we go to this planet, we should complete another step in the um, planet discovery missions. So we're just going to go here. And hopefully we're going to find a crash ship and a crash freighter so that we can move things forward a little bit. Just try and find somewhere to land be nice if we found a base because I'm still struggling a little bit with the fuel situation. Well, what have we got down there? You've got to be kidding. we got a nice free landing point here. Certainly going to take you... There we are. We've now completed the rain like poison toxic planet. And there's a creature there that wants to be scanned as well. Of course, that's going to give me 120,000. We're going to claim the manual location. Navigation data. Microprocessor, yeah, thank you, game. Now, as far as I know, I've got no toxic protection as such. Life support gel. Yeah, we've got no toxic protection. And what I need now is copper. Let's go and check the building out um, and see what it is. Uh, let's just go around to the front see what we can find there's a little few resources here up the ammunition Wait. there's a reinforced door do I want to smash my way through it well we got a job to kill sentinels actually it's first things first I really need to find ammonia berry technology I need copper of everything else ammonia an unknown building that far away oh deposit the copper deposit over there 843 away some more creatures so we need to go that far, 843. I think we will kind of break our way through 
But what's that there? Though, to be honest, a hauler is not the best ship to do this in. But we've blown the door open. We'll just let them calm down a little bit. We ammonia over there, but not much point in really getting that because I don't have the the specialist protection. Okay, it's just okay, we sh these guys are calmed down, so we're just gonna drop back in on the landing point. Just get inside. Guess we can take the nanites. There's nothing else in here. Take a shot at the Gek manufacturing thing. Approach the terminal. There's something deep within the complex malfunctioning. The surface feels hot to touch. Hidden machinery clanks and whirls and alert sounds. So this is going to have to be a straight uh, thing. It says alarm rings the bell, engage coolant chamber, network. Okay. We'll just grab that. Oh, it's not a bad guess, was it? Did we actually get anything? Yeah. <laughs> I think I'd rather learn the new recipe. The new recipes are a lot more useful. In fact, I wouldn't mind the Atlas V1 pass. Because that will allow us to open the canisters. Hydrothermal cell. That would be used with the Nautilon. I don't think we're going to need an Nautilon here. Get an Atlas V2 pass. I think I think microprocessors could be useful to learn. And our standing with the Gek is improved. What do we need for the Atlas V1 pass? What was it? I'm sure. Copper. So we're on the search for copper. Jump in the ship. I think rather than walk to where the copper is, we're actually use the ship. I'm assuming that yeah, the copper's still tagged, so well, it should be a relatively short hop. Uh, it looks like the copper's in the side of a hillside. Thank you, game. We just overshoot a little bit. Oh, come on, game. Okay, it looks like we're going to have to land down here. It doesn't want to, let, want to let me land on top of the mountain, which is... Oh, it doesn't even want me to let me land at all. Oh, it's, let me land now. It's one of the reasons why I'm not a big fan of haulers. Uh, I find the explorers a lot more useful when you're actually out and about just doing things. Yeah, I'm just going to get up and try and get this copper. Um, we got you. Nope. Thank you. And we'll just get up to here. Yes, thank you. We've got the iron batteries, so we should be okay. And we'll just grab some, grab as much of this copper as possible. And I'll be right back once I've mined it all. Okay, we're just picking up the last few pieces. A couple of little bits there. Just try and get as much of this as possible. Right, let's scan and see what's around. Change back to the mining beam. Down a rock, see what we can get. All right, dust and ammonia there. There was a knowledge stone around here as well, but um, there's some 
and berry technology over there. But you certainly going to go with the for the berry technology as well. So we just get round the back of here. Destination reach. Grab you. Um, back to hold the mining beam. Get this condensed carbon. this up analyze the trees and there's a hazardous plant here as well that there it's a salt deposit grab the carbon from here as well while we're at it <laughs> and another one just to keep everything going along quite nicely Let's just get back into the ship. So let's just jump into here. Make stock. How much copper did I pick up? 335. Uh, how much copper do I need? Or oh, um, not copper. I need 125 of that. And then a big pile of copper to make the antimatter. And I think to make the antimatter, we need 25. So Effectively, what we've got to do is convert all that copper into. You can come out there, pop that up, and that's going to give me 167 because it's a ratio of two to one. So we're still going to need to find more copper. Um, I mean, sack. That's the copper deposit we just mined, 221 away. Actually, what I can do is get back on the main mission and see what we can find with this abandoned building. It always seems to want to send me to abandoned buildings. That's the second abandoned building we've got. Okay, we're going to play your game. Uh, it's the right one, isn't it? Yeah, it's stress signals. Yes, thank you, game. I got got no more space for that. Okay. Right, let me just jump in here, and what we should be able to do is if I click here. Oops. Right, well, first things first, what we need to do is come into here, get the. Pop that into the exosuit. Um, while we're here, we might as well keep processing the slime so that we can get rid of it. And what I should be able to do now is install the. Actually, have we got. Got no slots up here. Uh, I think we've got enough for one more takeoff. And if we pick you up there and put you there, of course, my warp fuel is actually up on my freighter. <laughs> so we've now got that there, but we need more copper now. Or oh, not copper. Yeah, we need more copper now to make the um, chromatic metal to get the second upgrade that I want, which is this one. And we need three antimatters so we need I think what we're going to do is we're going to kind of take off and head for that abandoned building so we're going to kind of do a little bit of just flying over the surface now and see what we can see and we'll, we'll kind of do a visual search for uh, copper and anything else we can, of course we can use the scanner there's a building there I think that's the building we've already destroyed. Let's just go and kind of curve around and what's that there? Let's have a look see. The minor settlement. No. So we're just going to get back in the direction of the abandoned building. I mean, at the very least, the abandoned building will give me a, a vector to kind of head in the right direction. Let's 
another building over there, and there's unknown building across here. This is a free landing point, so we'll use this to see if we can find any copper. Of course, we can drop a save. this up open you up open you up oops got a gek relic always had a impulsive need for a gek relic got some got you got you oops game's always doing that to me Right, more, another get relic. We're just ch yes, thank you, game. And we got somebody here. Let's have a chat with this guy. He give him a hundred units. Gex like money. Got a pulse splitter upgrade. Well, we'll certainly take that. That was certainly worth 100 units. Even if I haven't got... Logo seems to automate your distress signal. Yes, thank you, game. So it's... Uh, 2 times 1, 3 times 2 is 6. 4 6 is a 24. 5, so it's 6. So it's be 720. Distress signal detected. Yes, we found a distress signal. That's a good find. But before we leave, we'll see if I can find some more copper in the vicinity. Ammonia. The birds flying around. So where's the distress signal? There's the copper. Abandoned building. There's the distress signal. It says 15 hours in that direction. So I think we're going to go straight for the distress signal. Oh, copper 531. I think what I'm going to do is this time is I'm actually going to go out on foot. Copper, if I got the space for it, just make sure. All splitter. Just top here. You up, actually, just move you into the corner. Right, let's just go and get the copper before we go and get the distress signal. So we'll just use, I think, my uh, you can turn that into nanites. I think it take five seconds. So. And we'll just get up over here. I got you. Yep. Whoops. Just grab some. Dihydrogen, because I've got a feeling we're going to have to make some more ship fuel. So we'll just grab some more of this. And just keep going. Oh, didn't I claim the mission? Well, we're just going to keep focused on what we're doing at the moment. And, and see what we can get. High Impact Hunter... Oh, we got some resources over here. Have I got you? Yes. Go 
feet. Get out of the way. Don't want to kill you. Unless I have to. Mm. Kill you though, on principle. Um, I'll flip to the terrain manipulator. Grab some more copper. And I'll be right back once we've I've mined out this copper. I'm just picking up the last of the copper now, so we'll just try and get as much of this as we possibly can. And how much did that did we get? We got 510. So we'll just come in here, we'll put the copper into here. Don't want the f and we'll uh, convert that straight to thing. Where's my ship gone? Right, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wake my way back to the ship and I'll see you once I get there. So things are getting a little bit tight, but we're just going to jump into here. What While I was walking back, my refiner finished what it was doing. So another 255 there. Is there anything else we want to refine? I think we're okay for the moment. Oops. So just get into here and what we what I need now to install this is three more antimatters. So we should be able to have three of those. And what we should and what I should be able to do now is install this. That gives me the launch ship recharger. It's going to be brilliant because it means that we can now uh, kind of keep the fuel recharging and out and we're just going to take off and we're going to head for the distress beacon which is six hours away so we're going to go up into space and go go the quick way So here we are, we're just coming up on the distress beacon. It looks like there's a, something else just down there. We're going to head for the distress beacon first. Hopefully it will be a crash ship. And we're just going to... Look, I found another hauler. <laughs> and we're just going to take a look at it. Repair. So we've got a, wow, that's a C class with a bit more capacity, but it's quite badly damaged. And it's actually got, got launch thrusters, pulse engines. Okay, we're going to claim it. And what we're going to need to do now is actually repair it. Now, I'm not too sure what the definition of repair actually is, whether we've got to repair all of it or... Just um, the parts we need a hematics. We need a plate and a hematic. So we're going to. Well, if we're going to repair the whole ship, that's going to make life very interesting. Um, okay. Oh yeah. So all we had to do is just do the basic repair, and we've now got the scrapper. Uh -huh. So grab that, grab that, we'll grab the damaged machinery, goop, and grab that. So that was quite a nice, simple mission. Oops. Put that in the extra suits. Now, what I do need is some more copper before we leave. You're a hundred meters away, we're certainly going to get you. Hello, out the way please. Grab you. Certainly going to grab you further. Some more. Oops. 
grab the living slime. Have I got you? Yep. Right, I need copper. Salts. Salts. Some berry technology that way. Lots of berry technology. Um, 113. Yeah, just what I've just dug out. Right, we're going to get back into this ship. And drop a save. What will happen now is if when we go to the freighter, that crash ship will reappear. Not enough fuel in the launch thruster. Thank you, game. Well, we, luckily we got that. I'll set you up while we're at it. And there is a building around here, somewhere. It always gets me. You see buildings, but when you go looking for them, you can never find them. <laughs> and what I'd like to do is we're going to pull some... Um, Right, let me just go technology. Start converting new runaway mold. Can't put that in there. What you can do is put you in the starship. Looks like that might be the unknown building that we... Um, no. You're just a, a random little bits and pieces. I think what we'll do is we'll just fly out and see if I can find some more copper. Because I certainly want to get the Atlas V1 pass before we leave this planet. Um. Oops, copper. Potential copper. I'm pretty sure that should be copper. Yeah, about 309. Um, can you? So we'll just get up here. Let's say it's a bit more mining beam. Whoops. Yeah, we'll be okay. Whoops, weapon depleted. Just come in here. I'm not going to be making any glass for a little while, so we'll just use the liquor. I'm just going to pick up the little last bits and pieces. Just make sure we get everything we can. And there's a little bit over there. And there. And let's just grab this through here. Like that. I think that's it. Just have a look around, see if there's anything else that's going to be good. There's some ammonia over there. I'm not. We've got some berry technology over here. We certainly want to get that. I mean, it's nice and close, so there's no point. Ah. Um. Yeah, you keep making a noise. I'll be back, right back, well, for you. Anything else around here that oh, we got some damaged machinery here? More residual goop, we'll take that. Some nanites. Any other quick wins around here? Right, there's some more more buried technology that way. We're certainly gonna go for him.
very technology there. Let me pick you up as well. Residual goop, which we can turn into nanites. Grab you. Get back to the spaceship. Unidentified rocks here, we'll just take that. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to go up into space, take stock of the current situation. What we're going to do is call in the freighter. As we could go and do the anomaly as well and get some extra um, suit expansion. But first things first, I want to get in the freighter as it means I can offload some stuff and also get some warp fuel for the ship. So we're going to warp using the this ship here. Trying to going to bring the warp cells into the starship. Got that there. Anything we can offload, which we don't need. I think we'll put the pulse splitter in there as well. Probably sell the, that stuff as chromatic metal. I think we're going to put that in the freighter against. Should we need it again? Uh, let me just see. Um, Put that into there. You can keep turning that into nice stuff. And just take a look around. Hello, guys. Let's see if we can sell some stuff to these guys. Wait, don't go away. I want to sell you some stuff. Uh, sell items. I want to sell that. We can sell the ammonia and the sulfurine. Not much, and the get relics. Oops. And that's about everything. What have you got for sale? Pick up four of those. Because we're not really out of the woods at the moment with respect to ships. I want to see if that. Yeah, there's, there's my damaged uh, hauler. So we got this here, and let's just have a little bit of take stock time now. So we've completed. So what we got here? Two storage augmentation, the Supreme Launch Thrusters, powerful pulse engine upgrade. We we're certainly going to take that. Launch thrusters modules, pulse engine module upgrade. Mm. launch thruster we got the space for this I suppose we technically we have I drop that down oops yep I want to send these to the freighter because they're just clogging up as well so we got the warp fuel you can drop one in there I think we will go with the launch thruster module because that will this will give me reduced launch costs as well, so that's good. I think we're going to sort this out a little bit. You can come up there. And what we got here? Pulse engine upgrade. I can't upgrade that just yet, but we'll just drop that in there. That will improve the efficiency of there. And what we got here? Mains pumps there, freight. So we can increase the performance of the sh So we're just going to jump back in the ship. And what we'll do is we'll just summon in the anomaly. What we're going to do is go up and get our next expansion to the inventory. We got we got the money for it so we might as well use it. So we just come here. Oops. Uh, Forty thousand, we'll take that. Go across to our 
pick the the class. No good. Uh, multi tools. I just want to take another look at the multi tool research. I don't really want a combat scope. I wouldn't mind that surveyor device. What's this there? Powerful lateral pressure and suddenly multi tool scanning system allows recharge significantly improved rate. Yeah, we'll certainly take that. And I think we'll take this as well. I mean, we've got the slots in the multi tool, so we might as well use them. Let's see what we can store here. We can put the personal force field shield in. I'll probably need that. And we're going to need magnetized ferrite for that and that. Yeah, I mean, we can we can buy a wiring loom to do it. Now, while we're here, I just want to satisfy my curiosity. We're going to go and have a chat with Nada. Welcome home, traveller. Ask about the anomaly. I'm just wondering whether these are tied into the final phase. It says we're going to talk to Polo. Let's see what specialist Polo's got. So it looks surprised, traveller. Ask him. Ooh, Atlas Station. Ask about the anomaly. Question. What's that? Purchase suit technology, weapons technology. Okay, that was a waste of time, wasn't it? Let's talk to him again. Okay, he's too busy. So we're going to have to talk to him another time. I should have asked him about the Atlas station. And I'm aware time is pushing on with this video, so what I want to do now is have a quick recap of where we are. So, we're, so we, we still need to find a stranded life form and a freighter. We, we need to get to the third rendezvous point. We need to learn some of the key words. We've got to finish at Atlas station. And I think what we're going to do is I'm going to try and jump one more system towards the third rendezvous. Let's get into here. That we can go quite a long way. Why is space so empty here at the moment? Everything is surrounded by cadmium drives and everything here. So it looks like we don't really have a lot of choice here. So we're going to have to go here. Right, this is a Vakeen system. So what we're going to do is dive into the space station. Because of course we want the suit upgrade straight away. I wouldn't mind some scanner upgrades as well. Space augmentations for the uh, ship as well, so we can put those on. We'll just get over here. We'll, we'll work around the room in the right order. Upgrade Starship. Apply augmentations. I think we're going to go technology. That will allow me to sort out my ship a little bit. 50,000... 200,000. We're going to go cheapskate. Uh, ship upgrades, I'm not particularly that interested in. I thought we'd got a. Uh, and what we call it. What have you got that there? That needs to go to the Starship. Um, we could probably sell that movement module. Get some nanites. Yeah, I mean, it's only a C class. I'm absolutely sure I had a... Let me just check something. If I, if I claimed all the rewards... Um, I got That's a reward. Oh no, collect the ward. There we are. We got a fossil sample again. I'm a little bit worried about these samples. Back here. 
We've got the reward for that, we've got the reward for that, we've got the reward for that. So we've completed everything there. Got nothing up here yet. Okay. Got toxic protection module. Which is upgrade modules I'm looking for is something a ah, scanner upgrade module that's what I'm looking for. I was certainly going to put the scanner and install the scanner upgrade module in. That's going to add some more money to my ability. Actually, so we got that, that, that there. Toxic protection. Got one more. Right, we got a jetpack there. So if I come, if I move you over there, and then we hook you out and put you in there, and that should kind of give me. I mean, let me just put this back into here first, and then come back to here. That's two hundred percent. We put you there. That might actually make everything a little bit better, more efficient. Um, you come there. So we've now got some hazard protection. We got some coal protection. We got this in here. I could put the toxic protection in here. We got a movement module. Do I really need the movement module? Oh, I forgot to sell the. Um, let me just get in here. Purchase upgrades. Sell. Sell you for there. How many navigation data have I got? Oh, I had navigation data. Where's it all gone? Oh, we got five. So we can get a couple more. So we can get into here. And we can exchange for specific charts on a couple more of these. Got that there. Next thing's next. Let's just get some language done. Uh, request dialect help. Um, aggression symbol. The a keen word for death. And we'll just do this. Technology symbol. Or the keen word for. Here we'll just. I request dialect help. Help, oh, so the aggression symbol. Have I got you? Request dialect help. Aggression symbol. Have I got. Oh, we got it. Gra, gra, gra. So we've got the next one of these. So we'll just take a look at that. Expeditions. So we've now got there. So we got Supreme Defense Systems upgrade, standing with the keenness increased. I'm not exactly sure what a Supreme Defense Systems upgrade is, but right, we've got a shield module. What's this for? That is a good protection against that. Right, let's get in and sell some more stuff. Okay, 1.4 million. Out of the keen effigies. Just check with the mission agent. Kill four sentinels. Yes, so do that. Eleven creatures will take that. I think this is where I'm going to call it for the video. So just have another recap of where we are. So we we still got two gaps in here, and we need to get to rendezvous three to finish this system here. We've still got to visit the Atlas Station and the uh, what fourth rendezvous. 
and we've got to discover 10 systems. The 10 systems is going to be tricky. And then what we've got to do is work out what on earth this actually means. This is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.